In four days, Disney will come out with the long-awaited Kenobi show. I was happy to see the original release date of May 25th, since it was my birthday, but now they pushed it to two days later, to May 27th. Thanks, Disney. Either way, I'm excited for the show, and I wanted to share my predictions and the things I hope to see in the show. First things first, let's establish what we know about the show. We will see Obi-Wan on Tatooine, living in reclusion and watching over young Luke. We're going to see Hayden Christensen coming back for the role of Vader, along with Inquisitors. We also know that there's going to be a Vader vs. Kenobi rematch. So from this, I assume that Kenobi's hiding, something goes wrong, and someone will find a clue to his presence on Tatooine, which will lead to the final battle. There could be a number of things leading to that, but I think that Luke will get in trouble, and Kenobi will have to interfere. And by doing so, he might reveal his lightsaber or his force powers. The scenario is most likely because I doubt someone would find a clue to Obi-Wan's existence without Obi-Wan making a mistake or being forced to expose himself. And the only thing that could cause that is if Luke is in danger. Even if Luke grew up as a simple moisture farmer, Tatooine isn't necessarily the safest place in the galaxy. There's Tusken Raiders, Jabba the Hutt, and his bounty hunters that could cause trouble, and then Kenobi would have to interfere to save Luke's life. We already see that he gets involved in the second trailer. If information of a Jedi seen on Tatooine reaches the Inquisitors, they'll start their hunt by sending a probe droid, which we also saw in the second trailer. Since this is Anakin's homeworld, Vader could have suspicions that the Jedi might be Obi-Wan. This could only make him angrier and he'll take the matter into his own hands and this is where we're gonna see them fight each other. I think this time Obi-Wan's gonna underestimate Vader, thinking he weakened him so much after what happened on Mustafar, and then Vader will show his true power and Obi-Wan's gonna have to escape for his life, maybe with the help from a former Jedi. Alright, so the story could go in so many directions, so I think it's better if I just wait and see what happens, instead of making further predictions. Although there's still things I would like to see in the show. First, since we have Hayden back to take the role of Vader, I doubt they wouldn't take the opportunity to create flashback scenes. We're probably going to see Vader dreaming in his back to tank. This is where we could get flashback scenes about Padme, Anakin in the temple during Order 66, and maybe dreams of getting revenge on Obi-Wan. When it comes to Vader, I hope to see interactions with Tarkin and Palpatine, and maybe, maybe Thrawn. I know we'll see Thrawn in the Ahsoka series, but if they could introduce him as a cameo in this series, I think that would be cool. I would love to see them interacting because we didn't get that in Rebels. Maybe it's too much to ask for, but I, I still want to see that in this series. The last thing I would like to see with Vader is his Sith Crystal Bleeding, but I also doubt we'll get to see that. As for Obi-Wan, well, he's quite depressed and alone with nothing but time to think and watch over Luke. On his side, I think we're going to see nightmare flashbacks of what happened with Anakin. I think we'll see his guilt and the things he wishes he did to help Anakin. Apparently, the scene where Anakin is left to die in Revenge of the Sith was supposed to have a small segment of Anakin asking for help to Obi-Wan, and Obi-Wan refused. Since they cut that out in the movie, we could get to see the original scene as a guilty memory of Obi-Wan. I would also like to see Obi-Wan talking with Qui-Gon, since he needs to learn how to transfer his consciousness after death. Obi-Wan could tell Qui-Gon what happened, if he doesn't already know, and then they could talk about Anakin and the prophecy. I think Qui-Gon will still have faith that Anakin is the chosen one, and Obi-Wan will disagree and believe that the prophecy will have fallen to Luke. I believe that a lot of Kenobi's story will happen on Tatooine, but hopefully we'll get to see other places in the Star Wars universe. Since Tatooine still has to be a significant part of the story, I do hope we'll get to see appearances from either Jabba the Hutt, Black Resentant, or maybe even Bosk. Basically, I have high hopes for the show, but when I look at the recent Star Wars content from Disney, I don't think we'll get most of what I talked about in this video. I guess time will tell, I only hope that the show focuses on Kenobi, Vader, and the story that brings them together. Thanks for watching. And let me know what you think, as well as what you want to see in the show in the comments below.